welcome to Gunpar's workshop. I'm Luz and as always, you're welcome in the workshop. So, there comes a time in the life of any uh, maker channel on YouTube that you've got to make some tea light holders. You look on YouTube, there's millions. Everybody has to do it at least once. And I'm looking forward to next year when the kids retire. I may be going selling stuff on craft stalls if I have the energy. So I decided I'd put my six penny worth in. And here we are. In fact, I've done three of them for the daughter because her house is kitted out in mostly oak. So I did them in threes using tea light inserts and I think it was a metre strip of 20mm by 70mm light oak that I ordered off the interwebs. Not very expensive. Uh, and it's very simple because all you need is a saw to chop up the wood, a force and a bit of the right diameter to drill the holes and a sander. In my case, I used the Hikoki the mitre saw, the, the Bosch drill press behind me, but you, you could make do with a hand saw and an electric drill if you're careful with drilling your holes and a sander. I actually ruined my cheap sander making these. So if you haven't gotten even got an electric sander, a hand saw, a drill bit and a sanding block is all you need. Before you start, I would suggest you go on eBay and get a big bag of tea light cups. A little pressed metal of the right diameter, then you, you can measure it and buy the force of it to the right size. And then you do it. I'll show you the steps through and jobs are good. So after you've finished it, sanding it, I did 120, 180, 240 before I ruined the sander. And then I finished it off with one coat of the proprietary hard wax eco oil I get from the guy that does my uh, workshops. But any hard wax eco oil, that, for instance, that you use to treat floors. It's a single coat, makes everything easy. And then a coat of polish. Jobs you got I hope that the doctor likes it. If she, if she, she doesn't like the, the three three hole ones, I've done a a, a, a normal size one as a runner on a dining table for Christmas. There you go. So I'll catch you again, guys, after the run through.
Right, another day, another dollar, as they say. So I sanded down to 240 just before me. Uh, cheap random orbital thunder died so at least I got these three finished unfortunately because I'm struggling with the depth setting on the Bosch drill and we're setting it by eye I've just knocked one hole through so we'll see how it comes out I'm not going to treat the, the inside of the holes because the I'm going to glue the in fact I might not even glue the little cups in but then at least if they get full of wax you can take them out so th this is the proprietary hard wax eco oil that i've mentioned in previous videos from lakeland cabinet makers the guy that has been doing the courses i've been going on this is a one shot treatment that you use it very minimally, very sparingly. It doesn't have to be in a dustproof environment because it just rubs into the wood, forms a chemical bond under the surface and then can be buffed off and that's it. So let's see how it does it. So, give that about 20 minutes and I'll buff it off and once it's been buffed off a quick wipe down with a proper wax polish rather than a polyurethane. And that's that. <coughs> right, there you go guys. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I did a 20mm thick board because I wanted them to appear fairly light. Uh, that that's about as thin, in fact it's thinner than I would suggest. I would go at least a 25mm thick board. You could get a 22mm, which is a bit thicker than that, or a 30mm. You, you could even do big honking uh, rustic ones. Just take the edges off a length, put your tea lights on. Or you could do like a stepped arrangement, either three wide or four in a circle. Etsy and the internet are full of them. They're cheap to make, easy to do with a low skill set and very rewarding. I would recommend everybody try it at least once. So there you go. Right, I'm off for my cup of tea in this heat. You, you take care in your workshops guys and I'll catch you next time. Crack on.